see, the Bible said in book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 11, that there is time for everything under the earth, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to be happy and a time to be sad, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to be rich and a time to be poor. Believe me, in times like this, for God to make you to discover this channel, be a viewer or subscriber in this channel, it's not by accident and it's because God wants to do special thing in this season for you. And I want to tell you one thing, there is no parent that will give birth to a child and that that child one year, two years, three years is still as small as the parent give birth to that child. It's not working, it's not chlorine. The child is always dormant and stagnant. Nobody will like it. Believe me, some of us in this channel has been stagnant, has been dormant, has not been making usual progress in your life. And it will not be good that you remain in this channel and be so God forbid. By God's grace, in today's video, I want to teach you the mystery of what you will do so that God will increase you, even if it is not 100 times what you have, at least seven times more. That if, assuming the money you have in your entire life is just 1 million, it becomes 7 million or 70 times more at least. And by God's grace, I'm going to be teaching you the mystery in the number seven and how you can use it to unlock all your desires. And by the time you will follow me to the end of this video and apply correctly what I'll be teaching you today, believe me, you will surely come back and drop your testimony in the comment section because God would have completed a special circle of work in your life. So welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I treat three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. When you understand and apply this three in your life very well, believe me, there is no limit to your achievement. If this is the very first time you're landing in my channel, you're highly welcome. Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that you always get notified notified by YouTube as soon as I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, I love you. Thank you once again for stopping by. Please always share this channel and video to everyone. God will continue to bless you as you do so. And don't forget to comment. And also, if you like the video, always remember to give thumbs up. And as you do, God will continue to lift you up and you will never come down again by God's grace. So without wasting time, let's get straight to the video of today. Oh, we actually do the spiritual assignment. I need you to understand this. That seven is a spiritual number. Seven is an angelic number. Seven means number of significance. Seven means number of completeness. Seven means number of uh, perfection. And believe me, spiritually, there is high significance and power associated with anything. Seven. That is why most of the times I will tell you to do a particular spiritual work seven times. Because I know that once you complete it seven times, there is know how you will not get accurate results. That case lies low. For example, when God was creating this earth, he used six days to walk. On the seventh day, he rested. So any spiritual work that involves seven gives you rest at that particular time. And not just that, you will see that if you begin to go through the scripture, a lot of covenant that God entered with people, a lot of mighty works that was done in the scripture involve seven. Let's take for instance, when God used rain to destroy the world during the time of Noah, and that because of the sin of the people of that generation, what happened on the seventh day, the Bible records that on that seventh day, that the ark rested on the Mount of Ararat. And not just that, God now entered a covenant with Noah that he will never use water to destroy the earth again. And the, the significance or the symbol of that covenant was rainbow. And the rainbow has seven colors. Is he not showing you something? If you're a Christian and you are going through the scripture, you go to Revelation, you'll be hearing, and the seven spirit of the Most High God, and the seven churches in Philadelphia, and so on and so forth. You will begin to, God talks more about seven. And when Elijah, prayed and said that there will not be dew or rain in the land of children of Israelites for three and a half years. When he wanted to bring back that rain, 
he, as he was praying, he'll be sending his, his servant to go and find out if it is rain is already coming. It was on the seventh time that rain actually come. And time will fail me to tell you many, many more things about seven. That is to tell you that number of seven is significant. That's why even if I give a spiritual work in this place and you are in this channel and you have done it, maybe I say three days or four days or even a day, you have done it a day or three days, they are not getting results. My dear, complete it to seven. You will surely get the results because seven is a significant number. So that being said, maybe most of my videos I will still talk more. I want to give you a special spiritual assignment that we upgrade you from the level you are to at least seven times more. That before this year runs out, at least you should be seven times more. And by the time you enter next year, go and mark it. You have to be times 70 of whom you are. In other words, if you have 1 million, expect 70 million. If you have 70 million, except you times 70 times 70. That is what I expected you to rise up from. You can never be stagnant. So today, we are going to break that yoke of stagnancy by fire, by force. You are single, you want to get married, that yoke will be broken, you will get married. You are a, a, looking for a child, that yoke will be broken, you will have your own child. You are looking for a job, that yoke will surely be broken. If only you will do what I will be telling you right now. The first thing you'll be needing is a plain paper like this, without lines. When you get that plain paper, please get big. You get either green big or blue big, but preferable green big. So when you get it, you first of all write your full name on that paper. Let's say my full name is Chidozie Jennifer Shioma. I write it full in that paper. Let's assume that my problem is money. I need money. You write seven three times. Seven three times. Because three is only a spiritual number. You are inviting God the Father, God the Son, the Trinity to be full in force to work for you. So you have to write it three times. Right, let's say I want one million naira. Believe me, faith with you, I will put your faith in what you are doing, but don't be too greedy. Nature has a way of balancing things, but put your faith. Let's say I want one million. I will write one million times seven. Whatever you need. Okay, let's say it is marriage that I want. I want to get married. I will draw a kind of couple, anyhow, sketch it, a kind of couple that and then write marriage. You see it? I draw a sketch of people, uh, two people, and write marriage. Then let's say you want a kind of contract. You will just write contract. You want favor, write it, and write times seven in it. Except marriage that you don't need to put times seven. So when you have done that, but this will work faster if it is money you are looking for, but whatever you are looking for, just write it. Believe me, God will increase you seven times more. Then when you have done that, please, whether you're a Christian or not, you need to read this. It's very short. I'm going to read this and you get Psalm 70. From that day you did it, you will continue praying Psalm 70. You use it. You read it and pray every word of it, thanking, believing God you have gotten it. You do it first, the second day, until the seventh day. Believe me, before the seventh day, within that seven days, what you are looking for will manifest. Even if it is husband, you mysteriously will be connected to your life partner. So, let us read Psalm 7. It's a very short psalm, but packaged with lots of powerful visitation. Lots of powerful words that will change your life. So even if you are a Muslim, even if you are in early religion, I have said it that Sam is a liberation part of the scripture. Go online, download it, and then copy it out in a clean piece of paper and be reading it. Let me read it so that you don't see that there is anything that contradicts your faith from that. I used to tell you that if any you are in any uh, religion and that religion is not connecting you to Almighty God as your maker, you are making a mistake. But once it's connecting you, there is nothing here. He said, make haste, O God, to deliver me. That you should come quickly, quickly. That you need that deliverance urgently. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my heart. So even if it's battle you are fighting, you write no more battle time seven anything that you want just write it like that you say let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say ah, ah, ah. let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in it and let such as love thy salvation 
Say continue, I let the God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and deliverer, O Lord. Make no tarries. So do you see there's no strings attached, whether Christianity or no Christianity. So whatever religion, please download and read it. So every day, as you write seven times straight, when you wake up in the morning, read this place. And when you are reading it, you are like a kind of a possessing it already. You say, oh God, I thank you because you're already making haste to come and help me. You're making haste to deliver me. That you, oh God, I appreciate you because they will be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. That I thank you, oh God, because they that they will turn, be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my heart. You are like already appreciating God for already doing it for you. Then in the afternoon, even if you're in your office, any place, copy it out, make sure you read it. In the night before you go finally to sleep, read it. And and believing God that you have already gotten what you have read. Then, if it is no money you are looking for, once you finish reading it and they make a request, particular what you are looking for, put it under your pillow and sleep over. The next day, when you finish, leave it here in your pillow. Believe me, God will say, but if your own case is money, please get a cup like this and put some salt inside this cup. If you put part of the salt, I told you that what represents money in the spiritual realm is coins so you get coins of your choice and bury it inside this salt so you put it and then get the highest coins believe me when you want money in any way you if once you want money you want big big money you can't afford to be counting small small so get the highest currency like i'm in nigeria this is our highest currency I get it and bury it inside this salt. You see how God uses this salt to manifest money because as salt is uncountable, so sure your money be uncountable. Salt make anything that is not working to work. Put this paper close to your window. Every spirit that visits you, visit you through your window, even your guardian angel. So let your guardian angel be aware that you are looking for this and drop this cup on your window. For that say age day, every day when you finish praying, you lay hand on it. I'm going to get this and looking for seven times more. I am being raised from this level of financial level. I am seven times more. You after prayers, you still keep it like this. This in your window for seven days. Believe me, do this with faith. Within seven days, you will surely come back to the comment session and testify. Don't forget to testify you because even the Bible says we overcome the name by words of a testimony and blood of the land. When you are testifying to in gratitude to what God has done to you, you're opening your ways for more. Believe me, go and try this. You will surely testify because seven is a number of completeness. Pray it three times a day for seven good days. Before that seven days, a lot will start hitting wagon, wagon, wagon. Your life partner will start showing up. Those things you are looking for will be coming in fold. You want contra, one contra, seven contracts will surface. Anything you want, you will start getting it in multiplication. The level you have been operating, you see yourself doubling that level. You think that you are a local champion. Before you know it, you get visa to begin to travel abroad. God will transform your life and you will be blessed seven times more so with this i've actually come to the end of this video if you find it helpful please give me that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and also hit the bell notification to get more videos from me please if share this video and channel to everyone as you do may the almighty god who i serve who the confidence i have in him is that whenever i call upon him do answer me answer you and visit you in all your problem solve all your problems seven times more Thank you once again for stopping by. See your lady Jenny saying bye-bye.